Now the roads in Tulsa, they started out fine for the most part for drivers this morning and then the sleet happened and things got worse real fast. News on 60's Emory Bryan is live with more on the city's response. Emory? Well, this wave of sleet rolled through and even with salt trucks out on the road, it took most of the day for them to get salt, enough salt down on the roads to melt the ice and of course even now it's still refreezing. About the time people were second guessing another snow day, heavy sleet started falling and within a few minutes covered Tulsa with ice. City salt trucks rolled out to tackle the problem after a night of only spot treatments on bridges. Those were all in really good shape, but when you have sleet that comes down as hard and fast as it did at this point, It'll cover them up still. I mean, that, that brine is not going to melt everything at once. The icy glaze on streets had already caused some problems overnight, with some wrecks mainly on highways. ODOT was spreading salt and sand, and conditions improved with more traffic during the day. The city uses pure salt to break up the ice and plows what they can away, but the streets manager says that ice is worse than snow. Uh, I'd much rather see snow than ice. That's because the ice sticks while snow might even blow off the road. City streets were drivable with ruts visible after the first pass of salt treatment, but the city plans to constantly apply it throughout the evening, starting 12-hour shifts at midnight, expecting more sleet and refreezing to cause more issues overnight. It makes it more difficult because even though you get your brine solution and your salt on top, you're still going to have that slickness underneath until it melts completely. The city of Tulsa uses a 27% salt water solution before ice falls and then uses a pure salt in granular form after it to break up the ice and melt it. Of course, their idea is to make it melt and run off the road so the streets are dry. The street's manager says they'll be putting out salt at least through Wednesday. Reporting live downtown, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.